Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Really interesting equation today. We have a q plus a equal to 350 and we need to find our a. We need to solve this equation. There are a lot of methods how can we solve it with, with formula, with different approaches, but I want to show you a real quick method how can we how can we solve it. First of all, we need to bring this 350 on the left hand side. What we'll have a cube plus a and minus 350 equal to equal to zero. So we just bring this 350 on the left hand side. But right now I see a really interesting moment because this 350 it's really good to write as minus 343, so 343 and minus 7. So this is the same as right here. Later you will understand why I write this like that. We have this expression and a cube plus a on the in the beginning. So we just write this 350 like that. Why I write this? Because right now I, I can see that 343 it's a really good number because we can group this with a, a cube and this a I can group with with this element. So why I group this? Because we will have a cube a cube minus 343 and of course plus a and minus 7. So as you can see I just change an order a little bit. So this goes near this a cube and this goes a with this with this 7. But moreover 3 for 3 it's a really good number because this is equal to 7 cube. And with this a cube we will have a formula a cube minus 7 cube and of course plus a minus 7 equal to 0. So right now we will have a formula a cube minus b cube. Well, how this formula looks like? If we have a cube minus b cube. It will be equal to a minus b and times a square plus b square and plus a b. So as you can see we can apply this formula right here in the beginning with a difference of two cubes. So we will have a minus 7 and times a square plus 48 and plus 7a. And of course this in the last a minus 7, so plus a minus 7 equal to 0. So I hope you understand this, this explanation. So we just apply this formula difference of cubes. So this is a formula difference, so difference of cubes, which is equal to this a cube minus 7 cube. But right now as you can see we have a minus 7 right here and a minus 7 right here, which it can we get into parentheses and we can easily factor in it. So let's do this, let's factor this, this expression a minus 7. So if we factor it, we'll have a minus 7 and in other parentheses we'll have this a square plus 48 plus 7a and from here we'll have plus, from here we'll have plus 1, so plus 1 equal to 0. So finally we factor in our our equation, our expression with, with a. What are we going to do next? Of course if product equal to 0 then this element equal to 0 or this one equal to 0. So a minus 7 equal to 0 or a equal to equal to 7. This is our first first root. Real quick a equal to 7 and moreover we can easily find the second root. 49 plus 1 will be 50 so we will have a square plus 7a and plus 50 equal to 0. So as you can see right here one root and right here as you, as you know if quadratic equation we will have two, two roots. So this is a quadratic equation ax square plus bx and plus c equal to 0 of course using a discriminant or abc. No, of course it is the same but how is, is better for you? You can easily find a equal to 1 b equal to 7 and c equal to 50 and real quick plug in all of these to the formula. So a is equal to minus b minus 7 plus minus b square minus 4ac so 7 square minus 4 times 1 and times 50. And of course dividing by 2a by 2. As you can see right now in this square root sign we will have a negative negative value because we will have minus 7 plus minus and in square root we will have 49 minus 200 so it will be equal to minus 151 and all over 
all over two. So we will have complex roots right here. We can easily write it in another way, minus seven plus minus square root of minus one times square root of 151 and all over, all over two. So square root of minus one will be equal to, will be equal to i. So we will have our, our final answer that right here will have two root, two complex roots, minus seven plus minus i times 151 and all over, all over two. All over two, yes, all over two. So one real roots and of course two, two complex roots. So right here, two complex roots. So two complex roots and right here, one real number root one real number root. Of course, we can check it real quick. We'll have seven cubed plus seven, which is equal to three, four, three plus seven, which is equal to 350. So this root is good for us, A equal to seven. If you still have any question, maybe you have another method, how to solve it, another approach, how can you solve it? So write your suggestion in comment, write your question in comment. It will be really nice to read it. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos.